hope. Seeing you two here together, that film is all about hope. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about the reaction so far and the fact that it's finally going to get released in cinemas? I mean, the reaction we've had so far has been incredible, you know, beyond the wildest expectations. Um, I mean, it's, it is surreal to be standing here and, you know, be surrounded by posters of ourselves, you know. Um, that is truly bizarre, but I mean, it's been an honour from day one. You know, we've been, you know, I was first involved in this over four years ago. Um, in the last sort of 18 months, it's been quite intense for both of us. Um, it's just been a really, really, really incredible, you know, blessing really to be involved with it, to be working with Ken Loach and the cast and crew are all absolutely incredible. Are you all right? When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a photographer and travel the world. If you've got a moment, you'll come back to the pub with me. I wanted to show you the photographs in here. I know it's not your personal story, but I can imagine it must have been such an emotional shoot. And to also know that there are so many people that are going to be feeling exactly how your characters are feeling in this film. So it's almost like a documentary about real life. I mean, I, I really felt it's really true. Like, I didn't feel the emotion were, like, real. I, because I, I, the Syrian refugees are real, are, my family are real Syrian refugees. I came from the occupied Golan Heights. I, I, I am not a refugee myself, but I am Syrian, living on the border with Syria. So I know what's happening there. We heard it, we see it. Uh, I have family and friends there. So it's really emotional for me before I came. But when I came and like felt it and listened to, the, to their stories, it's really the most um, painful thing. And so yeah, it's, it's really, it was really, painful but also important. And how important is it to represent working class stories as well and also remind people that refugees aren't to blame for all the problems in our country, it's actually probably our government and the system. Yeah I mean that's important, that, that does come out in the film, you know, I mean it's, it's a very really poisonous narrative going on in the country at the moment in terms of language that's used by politicians. And I think, you know, they say the word swarm and invasion. And, I, you know, I'm sick of hearing politicians talking about small boats. It's, it's not small boats, it's people. You know, and I mean, these people are fleeing persecution, war, largely created by the West. And they're coming here because of the absolute desperate need for a safe space. And what we're doing is we're, we're actually creating a hostile environment for them. And I, what all I hope from this is that people will take a, a second to think about what they're seeing and the opinions that they share, the opinions that they hear, and what they say in the mainstream media. You know, this is about humanity, it's about hope, you know, and we're all part of the same planet. And, you know, we, we keep saying this, but we've got more in common than we have divides us. Guys, enjoy your premiere. Thank, Thank you for you. making this film. Um, and lovely to meet you both. Thank you you look gorgeous, by the way. When you eat together, you stick together. My mother always said that. Some of the locals are struggling too. Everywhere's closed. Even the school's gone. We can't even look after our own. It's just going from bad to worse, isn't it? Imagine if all the families mix and start to eat together. If you eat together, you stick together. God, what? Go on, go on. The village, the old oak. We need this. It's like a bloody refugee camp. And watch your mouth, Paul. It's not charity. This is solidarity. This is about we do something together. It takes a strength to build something new. It takes strength to build something beautiful. Shukran. Do you know what shukran means? It means thank you. Shukran. Shukran.